Hello there beautiful people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you doing? So today I am going to put up a list once again and uh, I just thought of this randomly. It was not really pre-planned or anything. So I have 10 fragrances for you which are sweet category. A little bit different kind of sweetness. Not everything is just the same. Uh, they have their own characters, own smell and I think these are the fragrances I want to show you a little bit because I like sweet fragrance. You know, it's like a random list. Okay. So no honorable mention or anything. And these are not by, they are not by ranking. Okay. Uh, these are all equally good. I got some of them in recent times. Some of them I had before and then I didn't have them for a while. Then I repurchased. Okay. Uh, and the thing is I'll speak very uh, like little detail in depth about them because I have reviewed them. Uh, check out all the individual reviews and you'll see so basically right now winter is actually this year as i told you if you followed me winter has been quite kind to us this year in bangladesh we got really nice cold weather for about three to four months even in february mid-february we're still getting like 17 degrees which is very nice you know it gets some fog you know uh, so this kind of weather this fragrance smells really good and i'll show you one by one if you like sweet fragrance you can try them and I think uh, do not blind buy, just try them if possible. Some of them are uh, discontinued, so you can look for them. These are really worth it. Okay, first fragrance I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a fragrance I had long time back. And this is one of my like old Manceras that I had. Let me show you the fragrance. It's called Wild Cherry. This one I had for a very long time. And then I thought I felt a little bit tired about it because it's a bit too uh, loud. And the cherry in this is kind of like very powdery. And if you do not like cherry, you won't like this fragrance. And it's very uh like particular mood it requires you can wear this every day like a versace purum or something so this fragrance i loved wearing it but kind of lost interest but recent times i fell in love with the note of cherry once again uh some of the guillain fragrances that black dress okay and then also uh the fragrance is lost cherry i have a dupe of it but this one i got it because i cannot afford lost cherry at this moment and i don't want to buy lost cherry i Cherish this because this 120 mil, I think 120 mil, huge bottle. I just apply once and I enjoyed it. Sweet cherry smell, which is called Wild Cherry by Mancera. That's a niche house, but very affordable, I would say. Second fragrance I want to show you. Uh, this is very known to you. I reviewed it. It got a lot of hype um, when it, like last year or so, and last winter, I think we had good memories of it, but I still enjoy this. It's beautiful gourmand kind of fragrance. Pakuraban Ultra Red. Man, those who have it, cherish it because this is a beautiful little perfume bit rare i have the ultraviolet men as well both are beautiful this fragrance is just blood orange candied really sweet reminds me of a little bit of angel share sometime and uh, theory mugler angel muse at times it has a praline note amazing fragrance it's just just long lasting as well and for colder months this one really is a sweet perfume we want to wear very fruity very beautiful and very exotic bottle pakoraban ultra red man Number three is a fragrance. I had a bottle of this and I still have about 20 mil in it. Uh, but I kind of felt like my bottle was running low and I really love this fragrance from House of. This is House of Rojas. Rojas, you can say. This is Rojas Man or Rojas Man. When you buy it brand new, I got, recently got a brand new from one of the pages here. And this one, when you get brand new, the juice color is kind of like this, you know, in a frosted glass. It's like a shark tooth and then it looks like Invictus juice color, purplish. With time, it starts getting darker. My... 20 ml that is another bottle got a little bit darker than this okay so don't worry all of them are good but if you can get a vintage version that is really beast mode but this one what i really like this fragrance is a unique bottle it looks like a lamp like those uh, lava lamp some people say butt plug and stuff so <laughs> i don't know about that uh, i never used one but anyway <laughs> what's wrong with me anyway i really dig this bottle. this is one of the it looks like a torchlight as well isn't it like a very cool bottle so this one gets that gourmand this is one of the older fragrances that that gourmand territory you know like sweet cozy comfy and then coffee note i get all of that and it's like sweet it's kind of powdery and it's just really really like decent longevity as well on me so this one i really enjoy in mild cold weather this is roca's man try it out if you never tried it fourth fragrance i'm going to show you today here is uh ralph lauren polo red this one is very well known fragrance i reviewed almost all of them in my channel but I think I didn't do the polo red intense. That one is really beautiful. This one get the red berries, like some citruses, and then I think some guyacud or some 
exotic woody notes and then the coffee so this one is not really coffee based fragrance per se but you get those fruitiness and get this gourmand vibe just like the previous ones i really enjoy this smell you know this is like underrated and it's one of the top sellers from this house and i really enjoy it. it's a happy fragrance you know if you like mild cold breeze this fragrance really does it for me red berries if you like red berries try it out uh, you can wear this in a coffee shop or ice cream parlor or something this fragrance goes perfectly casual also summer it is good but i mild cold weather i love this polo red <clears throat> number five i'm going to show you a fragrance i love this line but today i'm going to show you the fresher one uh, this one is called salvatore ferragamo vomo casual life okay i always show you the original vomo or the other one you know like the dark bottle but what's so great about this one is that it has a freshness okay mixed with the sweetness you know it has this gourmandy touch it's almost like salvatore ferragamo vomo but you can wear this in summer but this one has great longevity for a fresh perfume you know it's very different got this nice bottle and it's underrated i feel uh, this fragrance it's definitely casual cinemas you know if you want to meet up your friends even for the dating scenario you can wear it if you don't want to wear something very heavy this is a sweet and fresh really underrated fragrance nobody talks about it i really like it okay this is called casual life salvatore ferragamo vomo five down we have five more to go and these are some of the next fragrance are some of the latest perfumes that i bought and a couple of old ones this next fragrance i want to show you is called rsvp by kenneth cole uh, this one is actually in french rsvp basically is like booking right you uh, call to book or your reservation something like it but this hands down is one of the most underrated fragrance in my journey uh look at i how much i gave a wearing you know it's i just love spraying this okay this one it's very nice this is a very uh i always say very because my english is not my first language but if i could use some more you know ah oh, man this is so good this is so beautiful this winter i really enjoy i really am enjoying wearing this and this bit hard to find for some reason in bangladesh i don't know why this is a good uh fragrance for happy people as i told in my review it has sweetness it has some peppery vibe some grapefruit and it, i think it's iris but i also get some sort of like a jello vibe you know like something that's sweet you'd like to eat kind of gourmandish and it's like happy fizzy you know and the fragrance does project a lot after a while you get nose blind to it but it's very long lasting you can smell it next day on your shirt i really think this is a good fragrance for uh, mild cold weather so i want to wear it in summer as well but rsvp this is a beautiful underrated gem check it out next one is very hard to find as you can hear there's some sound coming up one of my best find in recent times this is black excess lexi or lexus okay by pakoraban this perfume it's super hard to find super expensive it's a pineapple bomb um if you like aventus but if you want like a more pineapple heaven with much better longevity you hunt it down okay there's another one with that golden neck i don't know what that's called extreme or something i forgot but this one if you have this is actually even better than the original black excess man i like this there's a darkness about it it's got very juicy pineapples but it adds like a little bit of darkness okay and i still get the strawberries a little bit but basically it's a woody dark pineapple based fragrance very juicy very intense very long lasting okay if you like sweet pineapples try it out black excess lexus by pakoraban next one i'm going to show you is my favorite fragrance from this line this is my most favorite hands down in terms of performance smell everything i have 3 in this line uh, and i had 4 actually but uh, this is my number 1 from this line this is called hugo boss the sen apps uh why say absolute private accord i always say the names wrong too many names to remember nowadays okay this fragrance one fragrance needs to get so much love if this fragrance was released from valentino or dior this fragrance people would cherish people would buy back up bottles of i'm telling you once this one goes you won't be able to find as good as this one that maninka spicy maninka with the chocolate you know this one has chocolate very sweet very dark cacao you know a little bit of leather how good this is this is a masterpiece man i mean hugo boss bottle hands down on the best but this one is no less good okay 10 out of 10 for a fragrance okay private accord by Hugo Boss the scent okay try this out if you never tried it amazing sweet fragrance with a little bit of warmth uh with that if you like Lance Tender Girl and I'll go as far as saying that it gives me that vibe as well it's very similarly built okay uh so yeah there you go <laughs> a little bit of hype should start you know if you like Lance Tender Girl on uh, extreme if you can find it try this as a good alternative okay a little bit less bitter but amazing cacao Next one is my favorite perfume. I do not know why I sold my old bottle. I had 200 ml of it and I sold it like because I guess I was mad. 
I had it. I sold it. I sold a lot of my bottles to create space at times for my page, decan page and all. But finally, I found this perfume again. Super rare to find nowadays. I don't know for some reason. Discontinued. This Hugo Boss Red. Okay. I think this is called Hugo by Hugo Red. Okay. This fragrance is beautiful. If you like the note of rhubarb, if you like a little bit of spices, a little bit of citrus, grapefruit, that sort of vibe. And look at that bottle. Back in the days, if you grab the bottle like really tight, it will leave like a nice fingerprint. I think the new bottles don't do that but these are actually hard to find i found it in one shop and this 125 mil if i'm not mistaken 100 125 mil you get the 125 25 mil extra such a good fragrance if you like polo red this similar to that but the smell of it is very unique that rhubarb note is very unique if you like this one try also lacoste loam a CK all but sweet fresh fragrance for fall this is what this fragrance is you know i understood the value of this when this was gone I'm just very happy i found it you know hugo boss hugo by hugo red uh, such a underrated gem from this house back to back hugo i didn't notice that actually last but not least is that ultimate beast okay this fragrance is truly a beast okay if you want to use it just go one spray do not do i'm not giving you the middle thing i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just gonna show one spray okay this is a niche house from Middle Eastern countries and I wanted to add this one because I have many, okay? I have many sweet fragrance from Middle Eastern countries, but this is called Safari Extreme by Abdul Samad al Quraishi, I think, yeah? Yes. And this is the limited edition. You get this 100 or 90, 90 million, sorry. And previous used to be like a 50 mil, huge bottle, heavy bottle with the glass base. If you drop it on your foot, you'll be paralyzed for life. Uh, this is also a beautiful bottle, but much more affordable than that and a lot more juice. This perfume it's a godfather okay when i say godfather what does it mean it's just an expression for me okay this fragrance is huge it's like of epic proportions this one performance if you're looking for a fragrance with performance most natural smelling ingredients the highest ingredients possible that's what you get from middle eastern countries okay this is as good as a middle eastern creation goes it's a masterpiece okay so you get this kind of like a sweetness to it you get really i mean like oh wow it's the sweetness of it. I just always get mesmerized by this perfume, you know. Just let me just do one. Okay, just did a small. Let me do one here, like the side. That's going to last me until next morning. Now it's 1 a.m., right? Next morning, I'll smell this on my skin. That good. Longevity is crazy good. So get this powdery florals, and you get like orange blossom a little bit, and you get this the florals, some of the florals. It's something men can wear you know like when you hear florals people go oh i don't want to wear florals you get a little bit of uh, vibes of tuscan leather at times i feel it then tobacco vanilla a little bit this reminds me of those but very clean for floral with this beautiful oud in this just lovely and the vanilla just something to die for if you love sweet perfumes and you want to get one of the best fragrances that is beast mode try this out okay if you can find it safari extreme uh, limited edition by Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. So those are the fragrances I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Try them out. And some of them are underrated. That's what I wanted to do. All right. And uh, I have a sweet tooth. Usually if you also have a similar taste, you can definitely try them. I'm pretty sure you're going to like them. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll do perhaps one more episode. Then I'll upload this. Take care. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.